customer bought an array with four drives. He labeled them disk one through four. With disk one, he wrote bad disk. According to the customer, his IT person says there is actually two failing drives. He is unsure as to which disk is the second bad disk. He has been trying for a month to swap out the failing drives with new ones. Trying disk 1 first. Does not reach ready state and the drive is not clicking. I'm suspecting firmware issues, possible mechanical or platter damage. Disk 2 seems fine. Smart is clean. Just want to check first which drives will reach ready state. I will do a full surface scan on them to be sure they are healthy. Disk 3 is clean as well. Disk 4 smart is clean. Let's take a quick look as to why is this disk failing. I will try to get terminal access with this. I got some kind of error, I'm suspecting mechanical issues so far. Because of this issue, I'm locked out of terminal. I cannot issue any commands at this point. I'm attempting to short the read heads now. If all goes well, it should reach ready state and maybe I'll have terminal access. Still no access to terminal, so I'm pretty sure this is a mechanical failure. I tested all the drives with the surface scan. None of the drives have bad sectors, so the customer was incorrect by thinking two of the drives is failing. I spoke with the customer's IT person to see if he knows what kind of RAID this is and if he knows what the RAID parameters are. He thinks it's RAID 5 and is unsure of what the parameters are. It's not that bad that he can't tell me that what the parameters are because I like a challenge. It's good news for him that this might be a RAID 5. I can extract data with one failing drive. I will not need to do 
head exchange on disk one. I can work off these. This program would scan the good drives for the RAID parameters and their drive order. This is just a preliminary scan to see what type of uh, RAID this is. That scan confirms that this is in fact RAID 5 and is missing one disk. Now it's scanning for the rest of the parameters. This will take a couple of hours to a day, so we'll return when this is done with its scan. This program has a step-by-step -step instruction on how to build the array using softwares like RStudio and UFS Explorer. I like RStudio better because of the user interface, but in this case we will use UFS Explorer because the file system for this RAID may be ext2304 since it came out of a NAS enclosure. The parameters are RAID type 5, stripe set with distributed parity, stripe size is 1 megabyte. Parity distribution is left symmetric backward dynamic, parity de delay we will leave at 1. They label the drives wrong. For example, drive 1, which they labeled bad, is actually drive 3. So that will be the missing disk. Now I can see all of their partitions and their data. Now I'm testing for bad files. If it detects any, then there is something wrong. No bad objects. Good. Time to extract his data. And thanks for watching.